guys, here's Cloner from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to add an age gate or an age verification check to your WordPress website. So imagine the following scenario, you do not want that every person under 18 years old access your site. So you need to enter a wall that asks if a person have 18 plus or not. If doesn't have this age, can access your site. How to do this into a simple, fast, effective, free and without coding method. This is what you're gonna learn in this video. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us. Accessing your WordPress dashboard. To access dashboard, it's your domain plus WP admin or WP login. Enter with this address. After review this left sidebar of menus, hover a mouse over plugins and click on add plugin. Into the upper right corner of our screen, there is a field called search plugins. Click and type age gate. Here is the plugin that we are looking for, the age gate. Click on install now, by fill, and click on activate button. This is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on our site. There is two options right here, settings, donate, and deactivate. But if you review the WordPress left sidebar of menus, next to appearance, you're gonna be able to find age gate, a new menu. Click on it, and right here, we have some options, the full age, 18, restrict all content, specific content, up to you and to your needs, variate age, variate age, using input fields, drop down fields, yes or no button, I prefer the option of yes or no button, but let me show you the input fields. In this way, person needs to enter the age right here, day, month, year, okay? But I prefer the yes or no button, it's a simple way and a simpler solution. Are you over 18 years of age, yes or no? You can change the no and yes, the yes or no, you can make the option to remember. Auto check remember me, ignore login, rechallenge, and redirect fail. You can select a link in the place that the redirect fails, you can select a link to enter right here. Maybe a link to your social media. Now review the steps into the upper side of your screen. There is message where you can fully customize the headlines, subheadings, remember, label, yes or no question. Yes, bottom text, no bottom text. You can customize every single part and even enter additional content, okay? Now, go to appearance. You can enter a logo, you can disable title, you can enter a title, background color, opacity, blur, and many, many more effects to create the design that you want, okay? You can fully customize this layout right here, okay? Advanced options, where you can enable cache, you can set some templates, you can make the local storage, and other advanced options right here, okay? We have the access, where we can control access from various account rules, okay? Content, you can restrict some custom post types, in the case of the just want to restrict a custom post type. We have some tools, and the problem fixing, okay? with a couple of useful links. Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I'll see you guys later. All the best.